Hey guys, Buck WSR Weezer putting the do into do it yourself and up on the workbench today. I've got a Troy built, or is it a Craftsman? It says both. Troy built, Craftsman B215, two stroke gas powered blower. And we've got a small issue to resolve here, and it's a broken pull string. He's come right out. So our job today is to open it up, put some new starter rope on there, and get it back in business. So what I've discovered, first step is going to be to take a Torx bit to T25 and remove these screws all, all around to take off this front cover. I think we might have to take this tube off as well. Okay, with the tube off and the screws removed, this front comes right off. Let's remove this uh, impeller here with this impact 14 millimeter socket. Washer, another washer, and he comes off. Now I'm going to take off one, two, three. They look like T25s again. That one's tight. These may require a ratchet, not the screwdriver style. They will. Back around here for a few more. Well, we're separating that lower from the rest of the uh, motor. It's kind of prying it away easily. Like so. Now, we still got some wires here, the throttle cable and stuff that are attached, but we did separate the... We did get access to the uh, recoil starter so that part's good and this is what we needed to get to okay so to remove the recoil starter you got to pry up on this clip carefully because I want to reuse it might be the kind of thing to replace but I know I'm not gonna have one I'm going to try to reuse it. That guy comes up like that. Save him. Now it lifts out. Just like that. So it's just a tiny piece left in here. I got to fish out this little piece that's left over. Right, like that. Okay, so now what I want to do is we've got a series of eyelets through which the string has to pass before it gets down to the recoil unit. So there's one, then two, 
and then three. So I'm gonna get myself a nice piece of string. I got some new string. This is uh, number four, eighth inch diameter, which is pretty much the same as what we had before. And I'm gonna rip myself off a pretty good piece. Use the old piece as a guide for how long you need it. And then, you know, take, make it a little longer than that so you have some extra. Because you can always make it shorter if you need to. Also, want to save the handle. We'll be reusing that. Pull him out. So, let's save that handle. So I'm going to start right up here and feed it through. Then feeds through another eyelet right down here, which is probably harder to see. You know what I'm going to do first? I want to keep this from com coming undone and frayed. I'm just going to wrap a little tape around it. black electrical tape if I could find it. Alright, having fished the uh, starter rope through those eyelets, I am just going to, at least temporarily here, connect this to the handle so it doesn't come out. Just push it through and for now tie a knot. And that will hold it in place until we need it. So now I got most of the rope through here. And I uh, hope you can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's carefully find the hole here in the spool and pass our rope through it. I'm gonna keep that spring in there, not let it out. It'll be a booger to get back in. All right, I'm gonna share with you a trick that I sometimes do. We can drill this hole out just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. A little piece of tape. Snip it. Slide it through. Now the needle knows. There we go. I'm going to tie a knot. Force that guy down in there. Okay, that's that part. Good job.
I'm going to try to get one more loop around there, around the spool. If I possibly can. There. That's good. Let's put our clip back on. Tap him down into place. We can reattach the engine to the assembly. It's really the reverse of what we did, and then we should be just about good to go. Well, one last thing I like to do when I figured out where how long I want my string and I've tied a knot here at the handle, I like to take some matches and melt the end of the string so that it doesn't come undone. You know, so it doesn't fray. My problem is it's super windy today and these matches won't stay lit. But I think that's enough. Probably got it melted. Maybe I'll take it in the shed and finish it up. Well, all that remains is to try this guy out and make sure it works. I struggled with that this project a little bit but not too bad but i think in the end it's going to be good to go So that's the Craftsman B215, how to restring your, your uh, two-stroke gas uh, leaf blower. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope that is of help to you. look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.